The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide. Uh, coming now, a man who's got very strong opinions about guns, in fact, just about everything. He's not afraid to say exactly what he thinks. He is a rock legend, an avid hunter, an NRA board member. He's Ted Nugent. Ted, welcome back to you. Welcome to Texas, and I'd like to start off, Piers, by uh, letting everybody know that everybody I know sends prayers to the Chris Kyle and Littlefield families yes. for that tragic loss. And what a celebration the heroes of the FBI and law enforcement down in Alabama did the right thing, so that's a great relief. Yeah, and I, I totally uh, endorse both those sentiments. Let's turn, uh, Ted, because you're a great figure in this area. Now, you know this area better than anybody. I really enjoy coming to Texas. A lovely people. Let me see that machine gun smile. You got a machine, a machine gun, gun smile? No, but here's the truth about it. It was an exciting experience. There's no question. And you firing... can't give me a smile? Wasn't that fun? No, but firing, firing weapons like that, they're incredibly powerful. I've never really done it before. It is an exciting experience. I can't deny that. My issue, I want to play you just again. This is the AR-15, not the automatic version. This is just the regular semi-automatic once I got the hang of it. Watch this clip. Wow. See, here's the thing. This is the weapon that was used at Aurora in the movie theatre. And it was used at Sandy Hook in the elementary school. And it's been used in the last five mass shootings. And I can see why. It was very light. It was easy to use. I had very little training before, maybe a minute's worth of training. Um, and I found it very accurate. And even I was getting an accuracy rate, which apparently is the same as the trained police officers with real fire in New York of about 20%, which is obviously different circumstances. I'm sure in a range they'd be near a 90. We're but, shocked, by the way. Right, right. But look, here's the thing. I don't understand, and I want you to tell me in the least inflammatory way possible, why outside of hog hunting, which I get is a problem in Texas, anybody needs one of those? And if the answer isn't very convincing, why the least we couldn't do to those poor families who lost people to that weapon is not just remove those from the equation? Well... A, a number of things. First of all, I've been monitoring your gun debates. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and take it to the bank. You will never understand. I really don't believe you'll ever grasp. What would I understand? You don't understand that it's a simple, inanimate tool that tens of millions of American families own that have never caused a problem, never had an accident, and will never commit a crime. You have these aberrations that are such a minute percentage. So my prayers are as strong as any... Americans a year get hit by gunfire, Ted. It's not a but, minor no, aberration. Let me, let me stop you there, because I've been hearing you say this, and you are so it's, full it's of crap. Fact. Listen to me. That that statistic includes bad guys shot by cops yeah. and, and intruders shot by homeowners. Yeah. So that figure is bogus. Mm -hmm. So you got if you're no, it's an accurate team. figure. 100,000. No, it's not. It's not an accurate figure. 100,000 Americans get hit by gunfire a year. 18, those include bad guys getting shot. 18,000 of those kill themselves with guns, right? Japan and, has a higher suicide rate, and they're not allowed to get downwind of a how gun. Many people Your got, turn. How many people got murdered by guns in Japan in the last two or three years? We're not talking year? about guns. We're talking about you know, the act of murder. They have the do you care about murders, or do you only care about murders with guns? I, I care about all deaths I don't by think you do. Crime. I think you care about guns. I think you're no. obsessed with guns. No, I'm obsessed. 99.99% of the gun owners of America are wonderful people that right. you are hanging around with here today. Yeah. Perfectly safe, perfectly harmless, wonderful, loving, giving, generous caring people would you leave us the hell alone go after the nut jobs go after the murderers because i don't know any we need to lock up the bad guys and when people show dangerous murderous intent which every one of these mass murderers showed all their neighbors their family their teachers their fellow students they all knew they were crazy, but Pierce, we didn't stop them because we're worried about hurting their feelings. We have a madman problem in America okay. where they're running around. We have a felony recidivism problem in America. Let's focus on that Ted. together and leave the rest of us alone. Ted, uh, a, I won't leave you alone because it's a debate that has to be had in and America. And we appreciate that because you're the per perfect poster boy to stand up for the things that make no sense at all to okay. common sense well, people. Well, this poster boy will take a break, and when we come back after the break, I want to know from you which of President Obama's 35 ideas for curbing gun violence in America you would support. Tell them there's no legislation to eliminate all guns. There's no legislation being proposed 
to subvert the Second Amendment. Tell them specifically what we're talking about. Things that the majority of Americans, when they're asked, support. And tell them now is the time for action. That we're not going to wait until the next new town or the next Aurora. President Obama earlier today uh, reinforcing his plans for new gun legislation. So, Ted, a recent CNN Time ORC poll, January 14th to 15th, gun registration now, 69% of Americans supported that. Ban on extended ammo clips, 58%. Ban on semi-automatic guns, 56%. So a clear majority in every case of Americans that you say I don't understand actually agree with me, not you. What is your response to what the president is trying to do? Which of his proposals do you agree with? Well, I think I can frame it best by identifying the scammer in chief who claims that just to save one life would be worth this. Isn't it worth well, it? He had a chance to save four American lives in Benghazi and he refused to do so. Now he's sending F-16s to Egypt. So how can you believe this guy? This guy is on record. This president of ours has been voted in by that clueless majority who is so out of touch, they still call magazine clips, they still call personal uh, defense weapons assault weapons, which is a, a, a nomenclature created by the anti-gun okay, agenda. Let's just go through a few I don't agree with President Obama on any of that Do you stuff. agree with universal background checks? Absolutely not. Why? Because the government doesn't need to know who's got what. Of course Ted, they do. Ted Kennedy was on the no-fly list five times, which I happen to support. Um, but that's a bureaucracy gone mad. You can't trust these guys. I was turned down purchasing firearms a number of times, and I own Class Three weapons, and I own hundreds and hundreds of guns. I've had a concealed weapons permit for 40 years. I've got uh, sheriff creden credentials. And the instant check turned me down a number of times it showed but some here's, felony but here's what's happened to you heard the owner of this store early in the show say he's selling four times as many guns and four times as much ammo to me since sandy hook maybe to you maybe to alex jones who was here earlier which is fine i find it an incredibly disturbing reaction to the massacre of 20 young well, children they're not that's but here's not the a reaction thing, here's to question. sandy hook but here's my question for Fierce. you here's the question do you think america is going to be safer because gun stores like this are selling so furiously and so much faster weapons and ammunition, increasing both in America. Absolutely. An armed society is a polite society. And again, I told you these statistics before, and they're not mine. They're actually Scotland Yard supported. They're UN supported. They're FBI uniform crime statistics reported that where there are more citizens with more firepower, particularly on their person loaded, concealed mm. weapons permit, you know the there is a dramatic right. reduction in violence. I saw crime. you say this. So here's the question for you. Do you know the two countries which have the highest per capita rate of firearms per civilian? America and Switzerland, I believe. No, no. Do you know what the second one is after America? Hmm. The Yemen. Well... Are you seriously telling me the Yemen... I is one of the safest places Are on you Earth. seriously I telling you, me? Ted Nugent, are you when you say this kind of bull, and that's what it is, no, you, people believe it. And when, the Yemen I, is not the safest country in the to world. Admit, are you prepared to admit that your dream of a gun-free zone in Mexico was working, a gun-free zone in Chicago is working, what about, a gun-free zone what about in countries? all these cities all right, let me ask where you, the slaughter rate is the highest of anywhere, let me give you some countries. including Yemen? Let me give you some countries. Australia, Britain. Japan. They don't have a Second Canada. Amendment, Pierce. Huh? They don't have a Second Amendment, Your Pierce. Second Amendment, Ted, doesn't entitle you to have an armored tank outside or an RPG on your shoulder. You accept gun control already. Are you sure of that? Well, I wouldn't <laughs> want you in a tank. But there are already over 50 gun control measures in this country. We're not talking about bringing in gun control. We're talking about extending it and those to cover the preferred weapon And those are violated by all these perpetrators every time. What makes you think that the 51st law is going to stop this kind of slaughter? Something and I'm to here done. to tell you it will not. Ted, I believe an armed society mood, is a polite society. The mood is changing, Ted, and something has to change. But I respect your opinion. I respect you coming down to talk to me. Thank back you. I get you. Ted Nugent, and we'll be back. The only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.